thank Nicholas and uh, Olga Bornozis um, and the organizers of the Capital Link for the opportunity to participate in this very important investment forum. The Capital Link uh, is the talk of the town and it is um, it established itself as a preeminent forum for promoting uh, Greek interests both in exports and investments. Europe is returning to growth and so is Greece despite the current stalemate of the German elections, the secessionist tendencies of Catalonia and the ideological shifts in Austria, the Czech Republic, Hungary and Poland, all working synergistically to create an even more uncertain European world. In this troublesome environment of European economic recovery and political and social turbulence, Greece's motor of growth restarted this year. Economic conditions in Greece have now improved dramatically with budget and external accounts being in balance or in surplus. 2017 is a turning point for our economy. Real GDP growth gained momentum in the first nine months of 2017 for the first time since 2006, experiencing growth for three consecutive quarters. Under conditions of continuing fiscal adjustment, the key drivers for growth are investments and exports. We expect the momentum to strengthen in the medium term, reinforced by first the gradual relaxation of capital controls and the acceleration of the privatization program. Fiscal stabilization, compliance with the program while maintaining social cohesion and political stability have been the key factors for the gradual recovery of confidence by the institutions, financial markets and investors. Recovery from a liquidity crisis, the Greek banking system has been strengthened by the recapitalization at the end of 2015 and the ongoing restructuring of the bank's balance sheets that has turned the other, the once shaky financial system into one of the strongest in the Eurozone. The bank's new stress tests scheduled for the spring of 2018 are expected to show their capital adequacy ratios to be well above the required by the Basel II and III rules. Tourism industrial production volume growing at 5.2% annually, inflows of foreign capital and exports are leading the new upward movement prompting new investments in the nine months of 2017 up to September, foreign direct investment recorded an annual increase of 69% compared to the same period in 2016. Even traditional sectors with problems such as retail and wholesale trade, construction and building activity are now showing signs of rejuvenation. This, together with a robust growth of 7.6% in exports annually and tourism activity close to 30 million tourist arrivals, has resulted in employment rising at an annual rate of 2%, creating 265,000 net jobs in the last two years, of which 55% of them was achieved this year dropping the unemployment rate by close to 7 percentage points, but still very high at 20.5 percent. But most of all, the current recovery is about reversing the economic climate, improved by 18.5 percent between the first and the third quarters of 2017. Between January and November 2017, the Manufacturing Purchasing Index, the PMI, increased 12.3%. The Consumer Confidence Index improved by 20%, while industrial and construction business expectation indices rose by 9.4 and 17.4, respectively. The reason for this strong shift in the economic climate is the restoration of confidence in the stabilization of the Greek economy and the recognition of unique investment opportunities after a long period of disinvestment. Confidence restoration has been additionally helped by the Greek economy's credit worthiness upgrade by Moody's, S&P and Fitch the return to profitability of the listed companies in the Athens Stock Exchange, 
showing a 9.5% rise of profit in profits in the nine-month period in 2000, of 2017. Private debts are falling, private deposits are rising, liquidity in the, in the economy is improving, and private borrowing costs are gradually decreasing. The ongoing efforts towards resolving the NPLs, and more specifically with the serious discussions regarding the country's restructuring of its long-term sovereign debt. The government's privatization pro program is moving apace, estimating a 2.5 billion euro infusion of new investments, while there's a growing optimism and change of mood for mergers and acquisitions, and acquisitions activity as reported at the last report of Ernst and Young. Finally, the Greek economy's increased cost and price competitiveness according to the OECD and the Bank of Greece. That Greece is on the road to recovery is recognized by the markets, evidenced by the falling bond spreads. Greek bonds are trading at 2009 price levels and the investing community embarking on sizable investment projects. Indicative of the high 2017 business mobility is the fact that real estate investment firms have spent to date more than twice the money capital as compared to the total of 2016. There is a steady increase of Greek firms investing in research and development for 0.23% of GDP in 2011 to 0.41% in 2016. And finally, the change in the qualitative composition of large-scale transfers of shares in the Athens Stock Exchange from the aggressive speculative funds of the past to investment portfolios of funds that come to stay. Finally, despite the existing problems, improved conditions are observed both in the small and medium-sized enterprises and in the labor market. We have, therefore, a generalized progress that did not, of course, happen by itself. It is a product of both the efforts of the private enterprises taking advantage of the new productive environment and of government policy for realistic and balanced reforms that make the Greek economy more stable, efficient, and extrovert, as confirmed by the OECD and the EU that place Greece on the top of their list of countries with aggressive reform agendas. Hence, the recovery of the confidence from institutions, markets, and investors in the country is its progress of increasing exports and investments. Recent statements by the U.S. President denoting that the Greek economy has regained confidence, is an attractive investment destination, and will finish the program in August 2018, are typical of the great change that has taken place in Greece. The same message comes from large international financial institutions, such as Goldman Sachs and BlackRock, that have invested significantly in Greece. This investment revival is due to the government's focus on the new national development strategy that is being gradually adopted as a, as a compass in instituting a new production model. The new development strategy is concentrating on creating a friendlier environment for investments and export promotion for sustainable and inclusive growth, centering on utilizing the highly skilled labor force. The new production model is based on five pillars. The first pillar is to orient the economy toward the production of high value added and knowledge based goods and services, supported by enhancing the technology content of the produced goods, the shifting to international tradable goods and services, employing the world educated and highly skilled part of the labor force, narrowing the productivity gap. The second pillar is to intensify the export orientation of businesses to turn around the persistent trade deficit. The third pillar is to enhance domestic industrial production within the framework of the European Union competition. 
The fourth pillar is to provide financial support to encourage the collaboration between businesses in creating supply value chains and clusters, turning their small size from an impediment to an advantage to a more effective penetration of their goods in the international market. And the fifth pillar is to create a national development bank to offer new financing tools to businesses, support new undertaking of their investments, offer, offer microfinance programs not currently available, and provide consultancy in investment services. To implement this strategy, the government is increasingly seeking private sector capital by creating synergies with the entrepreneurial community. We have implemented new laws simplifying the incorporation of businesses and the licensing procedures. The overall framework within which the Greek state and enterprises have, seen, have been functioning is being revisited and improved to meet the needs of the entrepreneurial constituency. The fast track law provides transparency and security for strategic investments accelerating their implementation process of large-scale investment projects. We made inroads with markets and the investment communities of other third count countries, except the US, includes Australia, Israel, China, and the Middle East. The government is concentrating on difficult but necessary reforms, such as modernizing public administration, establishing a real estate registration system, creating simpler ways in doing business, faster and more efficient functioning of the judiciary system, combating corruption, and fighting tax evasion. As I mentioned, the new growth strategy is based on investment, exports, innovative small and medium-sized enterprises, digital education, and the absorption of the unemployed through active employment programs. It is concentrating on areas with high intensity of innovation, new technologies, and internationally marketable products able to integrate their producers into wider value chains. Since the main goal of the national development strategy is to promote productive investments, the principal magnet would be the industrial and manufacturing sector, which declined significantly during the crisis years. It remains, however, one of the main pillars of the Greek economy, as it is the third largest employer in the country, includes the largest number of enterprises with more than 100 employees each, and several enterprises that are modern, internationally competitive, and with significant export activity. However, given the small size of many businesses in the Greek economy and their lack of depth, our economic policy includes these businesses as well and technologies from different sectors to meet the challenges of specific globalized markets such as minimally processed food energy efficient buildings, intelligent energy networks, multiple transport services, and nanoelectronics in defense and security. To achieve these goals, it is essential to provide innovative financing for the small and medium-sized enterprises and have FDI from strategic investors in exchange for equity capital in green manufacturing companies. In concluding, I want to point out that first, Greece is a developed economy and a member of the Eurozone offering monetary stability, yet it has features of an emerging economy with good investment opportunities. Second, the geopolitical changes in the region are transforming Greece into a most stable economy in Southeast Europe and the Mediterranean. Third, the country has a significant geostrategic position and is rapidly becoming an energy hub for Eurasia with possible significant natural gas deposits. Fourth, investments, despite their increase in the last two years, are still at a very low base 
and need to gather pace just to satisfy entrepreneurial machinery needs neglected for many years. Foreign direct investment, despite their significant increase in Greece, are still one-third of the European average. While gross fixed capital formation to GDP has fallen from 23.8% in 2008 to 11.4% in 2016, Greek unit labor costs due to wage declines and productivity increases have declined in the same period from 65.5% to 47.7% of the EU-19. These ratios show that Greece is a country with a highly specialized and productive labor force and an attractive destination for investments. I hope I have convinced you that Greece offers many opportunity for investing that include a great scope from infra for infrastructure development in transport and logistics, energy and mining and handling of hydro hydrocarbons, agri-food and various forms of tourism, agro, medical, thermal springs, religious and cultural heritage, pharmaceuticals, clinical trials, information technology, and communications. It is no accident that the number of foreign investment funds are becoming strategic investors in Greek industrial companies. It is time, I think, for American investors, and especially the Greek diaspora, to take a second look at investing in Greece. Thank you very, very much for your attention.